A law that's been on the books in Tennessee more than 10 years was repealed on Monday. It's one that lawmakers and some local pharmacists believe will put the power back in the hands of doctors when it comes to prescribing pain medication. New Channel 9's Betsy Golden is live now from the Chattanooga Police Department with more. Betsy. Well, good evening. So according to the CDC, more than 100 people die each day because of a drug overdose. Many of those, they say, are caused by prescription pills. Now, state lawmakers unanimously approved to repeal this bill, and they're hoping it puts the prescription pad back in the doctor's hands, not in the patient's. Lawmakers are hoping that repealing a 14-year-old intractable pain treatment act should cut down on the number of patients getting their hands on powerful pain pills, despite their doctor's warnings. When they pass this law, if a physician didn't feel like someone needed um, opioid pain management, they could refuse that, but they also had to provide the patient with a, a list of other doctors that would prescribe it. This, he says, led to an upswing of prescriptions from pain clinics in Tennessee. The reversal comes just days after several East Tennessee pain clinics were raided, one becoming the largest bust in their history. Legislators are hoping this reversal cuts down on pill mills and addiction and gives physicians the power to write the prescriptions when they find it necessary. The decision to go on pain manage management away from the patient and put it back in the hands of the physician. More than 70,000 people in Tennessee are addicted to pain medication. You know, we see it every day. I, mean, um, I think there's a definite problem. Some people do get addicted after they initially need the medication, sometimes just for short term, and then they start taking it and they, they like the effects that it gives. It's a C2 medication, which means it's one of the highest, or it has one of the highest likelihoods of being abused. And so and now the original law in 2001 was put into place because doctors were not prescribing medication to patients without them going through rigorous testing. Reporting in Chattanooga, Betsy Golden, News Channel 9. Okay, thanks, Betsy.